For the series below, we want to calculate the sum for the first three terms and find a bound for the error when using the partial sum to approximate the infinite sum. So the partial sum S sub three is equal to the summation from n equals one to three of negative one raised to the power of n times three hundred divided by n raised to the power of zero point seven. So notice when n is one, we'd have negative one to the first times three hundred divided by one to the zero point seven plus when n is two, we have negative one to the second times three hundred divided by two raised to the power of zero point seven plus when n is three, we have negative one to the third times three hundred divided by three raised to the power of zero point seven. And now we'll go to the calculator to get our decimal approximation for this partial sum. Notice how this first term would be negative, so we'll enter negative three hundred divided by one raised to the power of point seven, right arrow. Notice how the second term is positive, so we have plus three hundred divided by two raised to the power of point seven, right arrow. The third term is negative, so we'll enter minus three hundred divided by three raised to the power of point seven. So our approximate partial sum for the first three terms would be negative 254.3673. Now to find a bound for the error, for a convergent alternating series such that a sub n plus one is less than or equal to a sub n, which is our case, the partial sum s sub n is less than or equal to a sub n plus one of the infinite sum s, where a sub n plus one is the first neglected term. So the infinite sum s will always be greater than or equal to the partial sum minus a sub n plus one and less than or equal to the partial sum plus a sub n plus one. So the approximation error when using the partial sum as the estimate of the infinite sum s can be found by determining a sub n plus one. So going back to our example, for the alternating series, a sub n is a non-alternating part, which would be three hundred divided by n raised to the power of zero point seven. And because we found the partial sum of the first three terms, the bound for the error can be found by determining a sub four. So a sub four would be equal to three hundred divided by four raised to the power of zero point seven. And now we'll go back to the calculator. Three hundred divided by four raised to the power of point seven is approximately one hundred thirteen point six seven eight seven. which means if we use this partial sum as an estimate for the infinite sum, the error will always be less than or equal to this approximate value. I hope you found this helpful.